What are you working on? Oh, uh, BeautyCon. Yeah, the Do tomorrow, right? Yeah. I believe that diverse young people's okay. voices okay. matter. We exist to empower young people. I'm Ziad Ahmed, I use he, him pronouns. I am 21 years old and I'm from Princeton, New Jersey. I grew up in an American Muslim household in a family where I wasn't really taught to ask the question, am I gonna make a difference, but how am I gonna make a difference? There's an assumption sometimes, I think, in the startup world, in the nonprofit world, that founders started with this grand vision. And I, I didn't really. I saw a problem in my community of not having the space to talk about current events and stereotypes, and so I wanted to create it. So I started to redefine at sort of the end of eighth grade. And it was born out of looking around my school hallways and seeing how many of us felt stereotyped or pigeonholed or misunderstood. And so as a result of that, I got together with friends and said, you know, it's ridiculous that our schools are not giving us a space to talk about current events, identity, you know, stereotypes, even though they affect us every single day in such profound ways. And when we launched in September 2013, I didn't have big expectations, but we got over a thousand hits on our website that first day. And from there, we took off in, in ways that I could have never imagined and got more and more folks involved. Started new initiatives and campaigns and conferences and workshops for younger students and tried to create a holistic community that really allowed us to come together to build the types of inclusive communities and schools that we deserve. Through starting Redefy, I found myself in rooms that I could have never imagined. You know, I found myself meeting with politicians, industry leaders, and journalists, and, and, and realized how often people were talking about young people, but not to us. And so my junior year of high school, I got together with two friends, and I founded Juve Consulting. And again, I had no idea what I was doing. But I saw a problem, and I wanted to do something about it. And I thought, you know, this would be a side project. And it's been a whirlwind that has allowed us to, you know, now have full-time offices and staff and to do campaigns with some of the biggest brands in the world that actually empower people with greater resources and tell stories that aren't being told right now. I feel like this is good. This is we get to shift the way that the decision makers of our time in so many ways think about the world. I believe the world looks better when diverse young people, when diverse voices are heard and centered in the conversation. And so I love that social media can do that. And so I try to use my platform to lend my voice to conversations where I think it may be helpful to share a little bit about myself, to maybe be funny sometimes if anyone thinks I am, but also to think of it as a tool that can hopefully get us further. Can you take a selfie? We can talk about the interview later. I think that the power that the digital landscape has for us to ignite action, to educate the masses, and to come together in community is profound. And so I hope that my platform is that my voice can be a conduit to further that positively wherever I can. Because I believe that young people, because of our digital power, because of our intersectionality, because that we have so much information at our fingertips, we are so important to listen to right now.